The quality of the augmented environment will depend on the device being used. You will get a different performance between an Ion XE, an EOS TI, or a tethered laptop, for example. To balance the quality of graphics with speedy performance, you can adjust the display quality settings. The augmented window will always give you a little indication of the quality that the software is able to be running at based on your hardware performance. And it's that little dot in the corner. If we hover over it, we can see some of our settings and our frames per second. And right now, I'm running at a very high setting. If you see the dot go into yellow, orange, or red, that means that your refresh rate is just going to be a bit slower. If I want to change the quality settings of my augmented environment, I can come into my Options tab and click on my Quality menu. And you'll notice in the Quality area, we have four settings of Low, Medium, High, and Ultra. This setting will determine how much detail the software will try and render between the beams and the model. Below that, there are three settings for the physics of the lighting, optimized, approximated, and realistic. And the graphics give you a bit of an estimation of what's going to happen. In the optimized setting, beams will appear on all objects they encounter, and the objects will not cast shadows. If you need a bit more realism, you can click on approximated. Approximated beams will end at the object that they intersect first and not continue. So as you can see here, my beam stops at the table where it intersects first and does not continue on to project on the floor. In the realistic setting, beams will cast shadows and will fall on any objects that they intersect with. This will give you the most realistic projection of your lighting, but it also will take up the most resources on your machine. Don't forget to check out our hardware recommendations in our documentation and use the quality setting that gives you the refresh rate that you prefer. For now, I'm gonna click off these settings.